Hello guys, welcome to Hill Studios back again and in this video we're going to discuss how to create sessions, join sessions and how to add a simple character in our main menu because our main menu looks very simple. So if you guys like these videos just subscribe and also join discord to help me on my game. So let's get started. So let us first open the project that we left off and go to the maps and go to main menu map and let us wait until the main menu opens okay now the main menu map opens now you have a new way host and join as you remember in the previous video we added join button and host button so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to go to our main menu ui we're going to add join and host functions in our player controller so let's get in there so i went to the event graph then i am going to add host and join logic so what i did is initially uh, we, we have to get the player controller so what i'm doing is i'm getting player controller and i'm casting it casting is like a process of converting reference from one thing to other thing casting only works if uh, we are converting from a parent to child so um, I went into the player controller and I added two functions first function is host and next function is join there are two functions like that mm, yeah add host session I create a function and I also added another function called join session okay cool now let us go to our main menu UI and I'm casting it to main menu PC and since player controller is a parent class and main menu pc is a child class of player controller class the casting will work otherwise it will not work similarly i went to join button copy the entire thing player controller casting it and joining session i hope you guys know all of the basics that's why you're entering into player so inside host i'm going to so yeah the casting to main pc works if you set the main pc main menu pc in your game mode got it and we are just calling these functions there so yeah so player control is the parent class and main menu pc is the child class casting works you also need to set main menu pc in your game mode as well so inside player controller i am just writing some print string functions just to make sure the reference is working and it is working completely fine if you click on host yeah it is working fine now let's add logic for our host for hosting we have a built-in handle engine function called create session you just need to create that and for player controller you just need to click on self you need to add that and inside public connections you can add somewhere like around 20 because you are playing with your friends right or connecting to your wi-fi so let it and i'm also ticking the use right and once it is successful uh, we just need to print open a level uh, the level name should be any level that you are thinking of joining if it is failing you have to be like host session failed and let us go to some other level like blue and let us go to the default blueprints map and i'm going to rename it i'm going to copy the name and i'm going to paste the name and instead of options you have to write question mark listen so it's going to act as a listen server and you're going to join there this is the entire logic for the host session let us go to join session inside join session what you're going to do is pretty simple you're going to find the session and you're going to add it up and inside max results we're going to say 20 and we're going to check use line and if it is failing i'm going to print a string like uh, the session joining is failed if it is successful we have an array called results i hope you know what array is array is nothing but a continuous um, continuous what data storage of similar data type elements so i messed it up completely just such an internet so try to print string something like it is successful something like that and then there is a built-in function in session called join session and for play controller i'm adding self and for search result go to results and get a copy get of zero and add that session result there and once you add it if it is successful print success you don't need to open any level initially I, I did this mistake of opening level but in join session what happens is once you connect to a session the underlines and automatically diverts you to that level where host is hosting here 
so you don't need to worry about that at all you just need to print strings that's it and save it up and let's try mm, i'm just doing some stuff so go to go to your uh, play play settings and then there you can adjust like how many how many players you might have so keep it two so that it will be good enough okay keep it two and hit play and uh, you have host and uh, you have joined right now so let us see i'm going to host the session now and i'm going to join it right now i clicked on host and i clicked on join again and now it will find a session if there is any session then it will join it so now you can see i joined the session i hope you guys understood what i did there host session and join session they are extremely simple codes now what we're going to do is the main menu i told you guys like i will add in a character there so you can see like it is completely empty so well let's add a character so go to third person blueprints and third person character drop there drop it there and inside that particular character uh, go to mesh okay go to the third person character go to mesh and inside that there will be animation blueprint and uh, use animation asset we don't want blueprints we don't want the additional offset right search for idle and keep the idle pose save and if you play <coughs> you can see like the character is somewhat far away so i'm just adjusting the camera so that it's kind of near to that and once we complete this once i adjust the camera the main menu is also completed so yeah like in the next tutorial series what i'm going to deal with is like uh, game state i'm going to explain what game state does what player state does and uh, we're going to make a simple scoreboard for different teams we're going to do it in the team wise we don't want to do it in the different like we don't want to do it single single player kind of stuff we're going to do it team wise and i will show you how to handle guns how to handle player state game state yeah that's it guys and i hope you guys like the video if you like it please subscribe to the channel and also join discord for help me out on my game for giving feedback and stuff and yeah thank you guys bye